Now, um, I saw you on, you were nominated for like the 10th pick for the double XL, like, you know, when fans could vote for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I saw you on that, and then, you know, a few months later, or it must have been before that, I, I ended up watching Dope later than everybody else, but I, then you, you got on that, you got a role on that. So, I yeah. mean, how did that happen? So, look, this how, I'm going to tell you. So, look, this how Dope happened. Pharrell gave me a call like, bro, I think, you know, you should do this character I'm working on for Dale, for this movie I'm working on called Dope. And um, I'm a, he, he was a, the executive, like, producer of it. And I'm like, shit, hell yeah, come on, let's do it. Where's that? Let's go. He like, so, you know, I sent them my audition through the iPhone to the director, Rick Fami UI. And uh, I kind of, end, I, I ended up getting it. But he ain't really even want me though. Shout out to Rick. He ain't want me to play the part. He wanted, he wanted the more uh, cholos like with the bald head, you know. And I don't really look like that, you know. I got the blonde hair. I got the hair on my head. I don't look like no cholo, no Mexican gangster, you know. I just look like me. So Pharrell was like, nah, you know. He he fought for me, you know. He like, nah, like give him a chance, cause this a this this, cause if you watch dope. The whole thing is about like a, it's a whole new wave. Like, you know, all those actors, like a lot of them, like all those actors, they ain't never acted before. Most of them, that was their first role just like mine. You know, ASAP, um, you got Shamik. Like it's, it's, it's a, a tiger. Like a lot of people, it was, they, it was like their first introduction to the acting world. So that's what make it amazing. So he was like, yo, you can't make it like typical. Like you gotta, like this dope, like you gotta make it, you know what I'm saying? Like this the new shit, like this for the new generation. Like right. you gotta, you know? So like I ended up doing it and uh, it was my first time ever really just doing a major role. They got them, threw me out there. They got the camera crew. I don't know none of them. They ain't introduced me. Uh, I barely got introduced to the uh, characters. And, but they were so cool and I just, man, I did a role and at first it was it was cool, it was getting cool until they told me, they said, just do you. Cause I was getting mm -hmm. more warmed up. They were like, just do you. I'm talking about, I went in, I just started freestyling a lot of lines like that wasn't even in the script. I was cussing everybody out like a lot. If you see the movie, a lot of that, like that was some of that was just made by me through the freestyle. It wasn't even on the script. Oh, nice. Yeah. Were you nervous at all? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, when I got out there, but uh, I don't, it's just like anything. I'm the type, like, since I was young, like, when I had basketball games, I'd be nervous before the game, but once I get in, I'm good. You know, it go away. So that was the same shit. Like, I was, I was a little nervous when I was in the, um, end up doing the scene, but once I started doing it, I was straight. Now, after that, do you plan on continuing your acting career? Yeah, heck yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I just, I just gotta get better, cause I'm more like, I'm the type, I'm just like a natural where if you put me like when it's time to do it, like I'm gonna go in, but like I've been to a couple of auditions, they don't be the same because they don't be the real shit. So I can't really, it's just hard to give my all like, you know, on the, on the audition because it ain't the real thing. Like I'm the type, like put me in there, put me in there. I'm finna go in, I'm gonna give you my all, you know. But you know that acting world, it's a whole, that movie world, it's a whole different world. So you gotta, you know, I gotta get into that, you know, but I'm more focused on my music, but I'm gonna definitely get into that because that's what I'm trying to do. Right, and are you living in LA right now? No, nah, I'm back and forth. I still live in the A though. Okay, well, why don't you want to move to LA to like pursue the, the career? Uh, well, because I love music more and I just can't move to LA because I feel like when, I feel like, when you move to LA and you're not from there, sometimes it can change who you are and even your craft to what you do sometimes, especially in music though. So like me, all I know is the A and out here, I love I love it out here though, but they're just for me, I ain't from here, they're just for me to vacate. I get a spot out here though and just be back and forth, but I gotta live in the A cause that's what give me my soul, that's what give me everything, you know. It keep me grounded because I still be out there. You still see real life stuff. And here, man, I be in, when they had me out here, it's just so much. It's good weather, you know, pretty ass women, foreigns. 
so much, you know, it just, it just, it'll, it'll make me just get lazy and just be a LA type of dude. That ain't me though. Feel you. Yeah. So, what other uh, projects do you have going on? Uh, right now, I'm working on my new project, like a mixtape that's gonna come out beginning of the year. I don't got no name for it yet, but I can't wait though. It's going crazy. Like, I was just in the studio with Chris Brown last night. We've been working. We got some bangers. Uh, I've been working. I got some stuff with Quavo from Amigo. Got some stuff from Pharrell. My first time working with Pharrell, which is crazy. Like on, um, like him getting on my track. That crazy because even though Pharrell always, you know, that's 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 my big brother. I could easily like be like, bro, how about you know, can you can we do a song together? Easy. That's easy. I could have did that two three years ago, but no, I I want to wait till it's the right time and. He had one for me, you know, he had one. And that shit crazy, I can't wait. So that's gonna be on the mixtape? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like, you know, I just call it a mixtape, cause it ain't no album, so, you know, mixtape. How long for the album? Album, uh, I say by the summer, hopefully, oh. yep, by the summer. Is there any uh, dream collaborations that you, you wanna? Yeah, dream collaborations would be with my dream collaboration would be with Kanye, cause shit, I just fuck with Kanye. Like, I've been knowing about Kanye since I was probably like in elementary school. Since I was broke as fuck in elementary, wearing some dirty ass Reeboks. Cause my brother, my brother, put me on Kanye. He was like the first one to know about Kanye in the A. Like, I remember I'd be showing my partner like, you know, Kanye. They be like. You know, back in the day, like, that was kind of different. Like, Kanye, you know, coming out with that swag, everybody was gangster. Like, you know, or dope boy swag, you know, especially in the South, like, everybody was rocking with Tilt, Jeezy, like, for the young kid, they be like, uh, listen to this, though. Listen to that Tilt 24s. Listen to that Jeezy. I came from old school Chevys. But I was just, I was on that, too, of course, but I was on some different shit, too. And Kanye, bro, he came out with the pink polo, you know, the Louis V backpacks, like just, you know, it's some different shit. And then at the time, I didn't even know what he created, but he did the college. Like, I ain't really know what college dropout really meant, like, but I knew that the music was just, it sounded good. But now I'm older, like, oh shit, like, I can relate to that. Even though I ain't never went to college, but I know people who done went to college and done dropped out. So like, it's like, now to see him being, you know, he an icon. So, I mean, it's just gonna take work. That's all it's gonna do. It's gonna happen one day.